Well, we want to spend some time this Memorial Day remembering the victims of 9-11. We will in this segment as well as um, those who have fallen in the nation's other more traditional wars. As we were thinking about this segment, we began by thinking about what it means to have a proper burial. It's different for every person, every religion, every culture. For the culture of the New York City Fire Department, heavily Irish Catholic by tradition, a proper goodbye couldn't happen without a bagpiper. In the military, a veteran has to have a bugler, though not all can. Too many elderly and dying veterans and too few buglers. And then there is one vet who has taken it upon himself to make sure other vets are honored with a song that's been played for the fallen since 1862. Not surprisingly, our story was filed by Beth Nissen. Tom Day, a Chicago sales rep, is using another of his few remaining vacation days to drive 60 miles to a funeral of an American veteran he's never met. Day, a former Marine Corps gunnery sergeant, is the founder of Bugles Across America, a national volunteer organization. The mission of Bugles Across America is to have a live bugle player at every veteran's funeral. It's something that veterans who have given a great portion of their life deserve. Yet something relatively few veterans get. A downsized U.S. military has only 500 buglers nationwide, far too few to meet demand. Veterans, most of them aging World War II soldiers, are dying at the rate of 1,600 a day. More than half a million veterans are expected to die this year. By law, an honors team of active duty military personnel must be sent to every veteran's funeral when requested. But the military does not, cannot send a bugler to play taps at every funeral. When we don't have a live bugler, we play a recording of taps at the service for the veteran. The CD distributed by the military is a practical necessity, but Tom Day says it isn't a guarantee that funeral directors will play it. They have to bring the batteries. They have to set the CD so it's at the right tune of taps, not Reveille or, or something else. After hearing about several CD mishaps at veterans' funerals, Day founded Bugles Across America. He sent out press releases, set up a website, started recruiting horn players from high school marching bands, Boy Scout troops, and VFW posts across the country. Since we started in May of 2001, we have rounded up 587 players in all 50 states. Many, such as Ed Crowby, are retirees. Proby, a former Marine Corps bugler, showed up at Abraham Lincoln National Cemetery one day in February and told the honors coordinator he was willing to play. He said, uh, well, he said there's a funeral coming here in a couple minutes. He says, you can play that. And I played three in a row that day. He has played 168 services at the cemetery in the three months since. And I feel that uh, in a way I'm still serving my country by doing this. Serving with no pay. Bugles Across America welcomes donations, but most volunteers don't even get gas money. Day says his payment is knowing how much it means to veterans' families to have him as part of the funeral honors team. Those 24 notes of taps is closure for them at the funeral. Day's playing gave closure and comfort to the family of Vietnam veteran Robert Baskin. I thought it was beautiful to um, honor Bobby in such a way that we didn't expect. thought it was beautiful. Bugles Across America volunteers have played for 4,000 funerals in the organization's first year, but Day wants to do 10 times that number. Presently, there's a shortage of people that can travel and uh, do daytime funerals. So what we're looking for is a multitude of horn players. Bugle, trumpet, cornet, even flugelhorn players, players of any age. Our oldest player is 89 years old, and our youngest is 10 years old, right here in, in my hometown of Berwyn, Illinois. He is Greg Roosh, a fifth grader whose mom showed him a recent newspaper article about the playing of recorded taps at so many veterans' funerals. I thought that was kind of sad, so I... Since I joined trumpet and I was pretty good trumpeter, uh, I wanted to help, so I joined. 
Greg hasn't played a funeral yet, but hopes to soon. Very much hopes to play for a World War II veteran. They sort of saved us. I think I owe them to do something. Uh, so this is what I want to do for them. Lifting horns, lifting spirits, in resounding tribute to those who served a nation. Beth Nissen, CNN, Chicago. What a nice idea. You want to just hug that little kid, don't you? If you want more information or if you'd like to volunteer, of course, there's a website, www.buglesacrossamerica. I'm sure that's one word, dot org www.buglesacrossamerica.org and uh, why not if you can play the horn give him a hand uh